Hey guys, it's Dinkle Dork here. I'm just doing a quick tutorial on how to add items to quests for both Sea Mangos and Azeroth Core. I just figured I'd do this video because I was doing it anyway. I'm probably gonna start doing videos more like that. But uh, basically, if you uh, have not modded a private server before, you're gonna need Heidi SQL, right? That's the that's the number one thing that you'll need. The other thing that you're gonna probably need for um, a lot of stuff if you're playing in, in TBC or uh, Wrath of the Lich King is an app called uh, DBC Editor. Both of those things I will leave in the description so that you can have all the tools that you need. They weren't provided by me, they are provided by someone else I found on Discord a long time ago. So, you know, some of that stuff might be dated, but you can find a lot of those things on GitHub or if just doing a simple Google search online. So, um, so yeah, let's, let's just get started. So I have this Librem. And I wanted to add a Librem to one of the Paladin quest lines because, you know, they don't really get any Librems at lower levels. So I created a custom item. I'll probably go over how to create custom items at a different date. But for now, we're just going to talk about adding them to your quests. So I'm going to show you how to do it on Azeroth Core first. So if you open up your uh, Heidi SQL and you scroll up to the Acore World database, this is, this is what we're going to be primarily concerned with, all right? So what we want to do is find the table called Quest Template. All right. Um, and then we're going to look for the quest that we want to modify. And you can do that a couple different ways. Obviously, my preferred method is just going online to like some sort of database and searching there. And for me, I just want to do it for the level 12 uh, Redeeming the Dead quest for Blood Elves. Now, I could add it to other quests for like humans and dwarves, and I will, but I'll get to that later. So basically, I'm looking for quest 6985, and that's just usually located at the top um, in the URL after the equal sign. Um, that's the quest number that's typically in your database. So we're going to look for your quest 9685, and so on the left hand column is an ID column, and those IDs are the quests. All right, so I found 9685. Um, and the tab that I'm really just concerned about is the reward item tab. Now there's two reward item tabs. One is a choice. Uh, one is a choice column. Basically, if you have multiple items rewarded for a quest and you can only choose one, that's where you put the item. But if you want someone to receive every single item that you list, or if you're only putting one item, then you would just put it in the simple reward item column. So I'm just going to go ahead and look for that real quick. And you can see that these are the reward choice uh, item options. And then right here, there is the reward item amount, as well as the reward item number. OK, so cool. So to the left, we have reward item one. And then we have reward item amount. And then what we're going to do is we're going to look up the ID for this Librem of Awakened Speed. You can do this pretty easily if you have your admin command. You just go, you know, period, look up Librem of Awakened. Let's see, hold on. Look up item. Look up item Librem of Awakened. And for me, it's. Uh, ID 600,000 or 60,000 basically. So that's what I'm gonna put in there for the war reward item one. Just gonna make sure that we're actually on the right quest real quick. Yep, we are. So let's see. So that's it. And then I put that in and that's all I need to do. Okay, that's that's how simple it is to do it on Azeroth Core. If you wanna do this on Sea Mangos, pretty much the same thing. Let me just open that up real quick. Okay, so for C mangoes, it's going to be under your mangoes tab in the quest template table as well. So let's go ahead and open that up. And then again, you just hit the data tab over here at the very top. I don't know if I said that before, um, but the reward item is actually over on the right hand side for C mangoes rather than left hand side. So this is reward choice item one, two, three, four, and then reward choice item count over here. 
And you can you can extend these tabs just so you can see what each one says, or you can just zoom out so you can read them. So yeah, reward item ID one, and then you have reward item ID one, count one. Make sure that you put in the count number, otherwise it'll show the quest reward, but it won't actually give it to you. So yep, that's basically it, and I will see you guys later.